Hi, my name is Timo. Welcome to today's Tech Talk about the SkyPanel X Digital Twin. We are here in our virtual production lab in Munich, and next to me, you see the SkyPanel X mounted on a Kleipaki prototype motorized yoke. Both of them are available as digital versions. The SkyPanel X Digital Twin transfers many features of cinematic lighting into the virtual environment. It can be used in every production phase and enhances efficiency tremendously. We at Ari Solutions developed a plugin for Unreal Engine 5, which is now available as beta version. This contains 3D data of the physical fixture and its accessories, replicates all its light characteristics and color signs, and has a DMX interface, which can be controlled exactly like the real fixture. Now let me show you some features of the plugin. All right, here we are. We see here in our project a virtual version of our lab. And after you copied the ARRI fixtures folder into your project or engine plugin folder, the ARRI light actor is available. So just search for it, take it and drag it to your scene. Now we can choose an accessory and a yoke. In the beta version, we included two accessories, the hyperoptic and the dome, and every accessory has two versions. So if you now select the version with eight, we are able to control all eight zones of the Sky Panel X independently. So now you see we have selected the hyperoptics and have now control over a nice spotlight. And before we make adjustments to the light and yoke. First of all, let's select the motorized yoke. So now let's make some adjustments to the pan and tilt movement of the yoke. For that, let's head over to the yoke control section. So we see here, we have full control over the pan and tilt movement, which we could adjust manually. But we also have an actor tracking mode, which allows us to select any actor of our scene, activate it, and you see the pen and tool movement is always set automatically, also in dynamic situations. So if I move my actor, the light spot of our hyper optics will always follow. Now let's head over to the light control. As you see here, we can set our light situation manually. For example, here for our fade set, we have selected the CCT color mode and we have full control over all appropriate parameters. So I can change my CCT. It's also possible to make use of all the DMX modes the Sky Panel X has. For that, we can also use all the Unreal Native DMX functionality. So the first thing we want to do is select a DMX library. And as we see here, no fixture patch is available in, in that selected library. Since we want to transfer all the DMX modes of the Sky Panel X to our library, we can do that by creating a fixture type. If we now head over to the library, we see here our Sky Panel X with all its modes and functions. So now let's create a fixture patch. Select the 8 zone mode, set the right address, and go back to our ARRI light actor. You see, our patch is now available. If I select it, all the mode settings um, are transferred to our actor right now. The same can be used for the yoke. So quickly create our patch, create set it to the right address, select the patch. We have now recreated our little demo scene here in Unreal 
And now I want to show you that the DMX control of our yoke and light settings match between the physical fixture and the digital twin. So we see here our DMX data coming in. So when I make changes to my pan and tilt movement with my DMX console, the spotlight of the digital twin is moving as well as the spotlight of the physical fixture. We have lots of ideas what we can do with our digital twin. If you want to get involved, just head to our website and apply for our SkyPanel X digital twin beta. If you have further questions, you can contact us at any time. Thank you for watching.